hello. Um, I'm going to be showing a video of how to er, the difference between Audacity uh, 1.3.10 beta uh, and Mixcraft 4.5. Um, as you can see, this is Mixcraft. Um, have it installed on a uh, memory card. So it sh should load fast, maybe, than on a hard drive because it's actually flash memory. But this is going to be a comparison video about them, what I like, what I don't like. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's first get Audacity going. Audacity 1.3.10. Okay, here it is. It just says 1.3 beta Unicode. I've got the auto tune. See? Loaded in two seconds. Two, three seconds without that thing. Okay? Just so it's fair, so I don't have any more programs going. Um, I will exit out of that and go into Mixcraft. And find it. There it is. Yes, Mixcraft might have more plugins, but still. There. And it also loaded faster because I had it loaded. I just loaded it right before this just to test that it still worked. But as you can see, it brings up that one screen, which Audacity doesn't, and it wants you to buy and register it. No, I do not want to buy this because I would rather have a freeware. Uh, okay. Uh, so it gives you five right here. Let's open Audacity again. Okay. That it is. Okay. So this is Audacity. Um, it looks pretty plain right here. Got your effects bar right here. And your effects bar in here is actually right here. Use all your effects. You do get a lot more, but still, even if I had Audacity, it would load the exact same speed as it does now. And I actually added some of these, like Auto Tune VST. Doesn't work. Because, um, as I'll get to that in a moment, why it doesn't work. It, it does, but it doesn't. And G-Snap. Auto Tune. Okay. So, let's get some sort of use example. Um, uh, my computer, no, actually it's in, uh, shortcuts, music, um, tavern music, well, we don't need that, in the jungle, no, I did that in my other video, totally bought, from C actually from a CD. Bow down. Untitled WMA. No. Um, I'm sorry this is taking so long. It's a. Uh, there we go. I believe it's stuff. Let's play it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not, but actually I don't think you will. But let's um, let's try. See, it's a, it's a little beat that I made, um, so, it's right there, let's go and drag this, let's copy it first, I made this in FL Studio, which is, it's the demo, um, it's free, you can download it on their website, I uh, most likely will put a link in the description, so let's drag this into Audacity, Loaded. Uh, drag the copy into Mixcraft into. Um, see, this gives you certain things, certain audio track or instrument. Um, let's just say this is an audio track. See how long that took? It looked, took, I guess, let's just say a little longer. So let's listen to it. Um, okay. You can easily record with this. But it's not really as I don't know. It's it's a nice clear button right here. Um, can copy it just that easy. It'll play it over and over. 
audacity, however, you see you get the peaks really nice and big. Um, you can zoom out. See, but you can't um, copy it just by dragging. You have to actually copy what you want. Let's just do Control A, Control C, click where you want, and Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. So, this will be. You can also put them closer together, but I just. You can uh, click where you want to start at, which you can do in both. Control Z, 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 Z. Okay. Um, this, the act, there's only one. There's two versions. There's the bot version and the demo version. There's a lot of cracks out there. I'm not for those. Um, but this is to actually get it. You have to buy code. I don't remember how much it is. Um, just to okay. So if I wanted to apply an effect, which Auto Tune won't do anything to this because it's not singing. But let's just do Auto Tune. Let's go to Dan. Okay, you can't click anything, but if you want to mix down, this means convert or, ex or um, export to MP3. Got to buy a code. Just two more days. Uh, yeah, um, that's two days. Uh, I would rather have this for infinite. So you have to click that, and then it would let you do that for two more days. Not for Mixcraft, because I do not like Mixcraft anymore. Good thing I upgraded to. Even though I've already had this for this, um, you can export it to different things. Export. Um, you can change a lot of different, a lot more. You can change export it to, but to change it to an MP3, this MP2, um, you guys probably see where it is, but I don't. Um, I'm guessing you can just make it. But uh, MP3, you have to have a custom plugin. I do not have. I'm um, sorry. Can't show. Oh, right here. MP3 files. I'm blind. Um, but Wave, it comes with Wave. So that's what normally what I do, and everything can use Wave because it's Microsoft, and it seems to always work with uh, what, uh, iTunes. So then you can just do that and click Save. Let's export it to my desktop as stuff.wave. Um, you can edit the meta tags, which lets you add like, the artist name, track title, here. Um, okay. can edit the genres and coded by Lame and FL Studio. That's like the beat maker. You can just click OK. And it's done. Right here. Now I have an MP3 copy and a wave. Oh, sorry about this. This is a, um, I can't change the background, it's something about Windows 7, but this is, uh, also a freeware, it's a podcast, so, um, it's free, download it on iTunes, um, it's called the Porn Identity Podcast, very interesting, um, okay, on this, and to add effects on this, you just select, sorry about that, cats are fighting, okay, yes, uh, Copy that, click effect, and you just click and add whatever effect you want. Let's just do G Snap. G Snap is free no matter what. You can download it from the website and it's free. So it's exactly the same. Let's do not so. You probably can't hear it very well, but it has not changed. Then you just click. I'm gonna just add some revert. Let me reverse it. Oh, okay, here you go. So there, that easy. Control, Control Z it, and then yeah, Control Z. There you go. Okay. Um, that was a quick comparison between them. Another video. Quick comparison between them. Uh, this is Audacity 1.3. 10, but they just call it the beta Unicode, um, and Mixcraft 4.5 demo. Um, if you have the free, or if you have the bot version, it's good for you. But this is just for what I do. I don't do very much music stuff. I just like to play around with it. You can also record, just like on Mixcraft. It's almost exactly the same. For here, oh, gotta 
chat. Sorry about this. Okay, sorry. 